Darkness were eternal hostility against every form of tyranny over the mind of man. If I may, sir, I for one am delighted you have accepted this invitation. Change of scenery will do you both the world of good. Yes, but it, it's, it's not a holiday, uh, uh, Bennett, it's business. Yes, sir, but at the Chateau de Coeur, the brochures I've read, it's one of the most well, magnificent. Buildings are uh, a building. What's important is that industrial leaders from all over are prepared to give their time and knowledge to third world countries. Isn't that just because you're endorsing the symposium, sir, and Prime Minister Haddad is footing the bill? You know, Bennett, cynicism really becomes you. Thank you, sir. There's something in it for everyone. Benefits are mutual, Bennett. Cooperation, trust, understanding, those are the key themes of my address. I should be concentrating on that. And I don't suppose you'll be needing this. It's very you, Bennett. <laughs> Father, we should be on our way. Alexander Addington's office. Yes, Prime Minister. Mohammed Haddad. Just one moment, please. Satellite link. Ah, Mohammed! How's the situation there? Fine. I shot an 89 today. <laughs> First time I broke 90 since my days at Oxford. Yes, I've been told the facilities are excellent. Perhaps too excellent. <laughs> my wife gets to France so seldom. I'm afraid she wants to take the whole country back with her to Kalim. <laughs> well, thanks to your reform, she'll be able to wear all those goodies in public. What can I do for you? I called to find out what time you're arriving. Bennett? Your helicopter's estimated arrival time is 10.17 this evening, sir. <laughs> Why, is there a problem? Problem? No. But your presence is greatly anticipated. As always, there are people who are afraid of the future, unwilling to trust. Telephone center. Make sure I am on video and phone lines. Did you receive the agenda I faxed to your office? Yes, I think it's excellent. By the weekend, you'll be as well primed as any prime minister in the Middle East. <laughs> to inform you that the Chateau de Coeur is now under the control of October Justice. If you wish to see your spouses again, you will take no rash actions. Await further communications. Credit for the incident is being claimed by a calamist terrorist group calling themselves October Justice. They have not yet made their demands known, but are presently in control of the chateau, where the participants of the Pyrenees Conference are staying, holding the wives of the delegates as hostages. 
The takeover occurred while the delegates were attending committee meetings in the conference center close by. We'll return now to our studio where we have noted expert on terrorist activity, Martin... You all right? What do you know about October Justice? Well, in October 1988, Prime Minister Haddad had the courage to take his backward country and put it into the 20th century. October Justice got its name from the day on which he was elected. Needless to say, there were some for whom the old ways were more desirable. Oh, yes, those who chose to live in the Dark Ages, but Haddad was changing all that. In the upcoming elections, women finally get the vote. So they took them hostage as a symbolic gesture? No, I think it's simpler than that, Susie. No, they were an easy and available target. The conference center is guarded by the heaviest security. The chateau is simply a plum ready to be picked. So what do they want? I don't know. But we're not going to be in the dark for long. Get your hands off me! Move! be hurt as long as your husbands listen to reason. Okay, Peter, go ahead. There's been an ambush over at the Chateau de Coeur in Normandy. They've taken hostages, but as yet we don't know how many. Several delegates have refused to attend for fear of just this sort of threat. Well, this sounds like a job for the commanders. Well, the SWAT team's already in place, but they're going to need help. We've got a complete list of the delegates and their guests, and we're trying to get a detailed floor plan. I'm also getting you a complete list of the staff. You're going to be landing at a military base near the chateau. I'll join you there. Just one question. What do the terrorists want? Well, according to the second communique, they want Haddad handed over to them without conditions. <laughs> what is known as a career opportunity. Don't. Are you all right? Yes, the baby. The baby just kicked. I'm sure he wants out as much as we do. Who are we? So what are you going to do? You're going to beat up a pregnant woman? I'm not impressed. I mean... might be useful. Oh. 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 Justice have just issued another message. We have to deliver Mohammed Haddad in four hours. I start throwing bodies out every hour. Now, where do we start? OK, well, here are pictures of the chateau Great. from every angle. Now, fortunately, it's just been recently restored, so these are very, very detailed floor plans. But on this one, we have the plumbing is in the red and the electrical conduit is in the blue. OK, so what are we up against? Well, we still really don't have any idea. We've got to get inside. Exactly. Well, this is like the easiest way right here. You know how high it is? Yeah, it's 32 feet. You think you can make it? I guess I'll have to. I'll go up with you. No, uh, we'll leave the SWAT team to provide backup. Now, I need you to get in from another angle through here, through a service tunnel that leads in under the base. All right, once I get in, what do you want me to do? How should I play it? Well, we need to know exactly where they're stationed, how many there are, and what their firepower is. The rest is up to you. You got it. Oh, and Luke, will you check in with me, please, as often as you can? Yep. Now, Vicky. Several of the delegates arrived without their wives. Now... The dots anymore. It's a list. I'm afraid you'll be unarmed. Won't be the first time. Where are you going to be? I'll be with the delegates. I'm afraid they're all really jumpy. Well, my Italian accent is better than my German passport. I'll be Giorgio Ferrante's wife, Sophie. Good. She's in the Come and sit down. Right here. Horrible. Perhaps I can help. 
I'm a doctor. How do you do? My husband is head of the environmental research group. Hi. If anybody moves, give the signal, and we will begin to kill the hostages. Lock her up with the rest of the staff. Hey, wait a minute. We were the cable news here covering the conference. You can't be very important or you'd be with the men, not here with the wives. I suppose being the leader of a terrorist group makes you feel important, huh? Go back with the rest of the women. You might be useful to me. But later. Where is she? Madame Hadad. How is that? You have the opportunity to be a patriot. And die for your country. Gentlemen. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Robert Pelletier of the police department. I will be acting as your liaison throughout the rescue effort. How could this possibly have happened? Why are the police dragging their feet? Are they all oh. safe? Gentlemen, gentlemen, please. I will answer all of your questions. But first, I want to assure you that we are doing everything in our power to guarantee the safety of your wives. The assault teams outside the castle will use their weapons only in the event of an emergency. I cannot continue to sit here and do nothing. Prime Minister Haddad, I have a word with you. Prime Minister, Peter Sinclair. I'm delighted to meet you. I'm sorry it's under these circumstances. Inspector Griffey. Yes, I received a call about you. I've been instructed to coordinate this operation. I think, Prime Minister, this situation is best left to my mail. We are highly experienced in these situations. Mr. Sinclair's offenses assure me that he must be competent in any situation. Inspector, you can rest assured that I intend to work with you and your men, and I hope that I will get the same cooperation. I follow my orders, Mr. Sinclair. Gentlemen, there is no point in deluding ourselves. I do not relish the role of martyr, but one life in exchange for so many, that seems a bargain. Prime Minister, it's not even a consideration. Mohammed, I thought we'd all agreed that we can never give in to terrorism. It would defeat our entire purpose. That perhaps we should not completely drop the idea. Return to the right path, the true path. Mm. You mean the path where women and children are objects? A man can be arrested and spend his entire life in jail and never see a courtroom. I mean the way that has served our people well for many hundreds of years. But don't you see? We must move with the times. I do see. I'm standing here discussing politics with a woman. You represent everything we detest. Look at you, the picture of decadence. Ahmed. Ah, yes, let me explain to you Mustafa's artwork, Madame Haddad. You are sitting on a pressure plate which is attached to several sticks of dynamite. If you so much as move a fraction of an inch, 
you will be meeting with your creator. Your husband knows he has four hours. And not a second more. Should I stay with her? Why? She's either going nowhere or very far indeed. Are you out of your mind? You realize if your people are discovered, they will start killing hostages. We don't have time for amateurs. I can assure you, my people are anything but amateurs. being pregnant in this crisis situation. I want to talk to you. How dare you? Are people nothing more than news items to you? Things you can sandwich between advertisements? My God. If there's something you want to get off your chest. No, there's nothing anyone can do now. I really am a doctor, you know. Oh, you are. You wouldn't happen to have a tranquilizer on you, would you? They will follow your instructions to the letter. Good. I still think it's suicide. Ah, I hope you're wrong. For your sake, so do I. It's all on your head now, St. Clair. I'm used to that.
Who is she? I don't know. Searcher. Hey, do you know how much I paid for this outfit? Get your hands off me. Where have you been? On a tour of this place. I must have dozed off somewhere in a room upstairs. Don't you know what's going on here? What do you mean? What did you think when you saw all these men with guns? They are always armed men surrounding my husband. This is the brave new world our Haddad would have us join. Who are you? Signora Giorgio Ferrante. Oh! What is wrong? Gina. Gina? And you? Welcome, Signora. You're just in time to die with the others. You. Excuse me. Signora Ferrante. May I speak with you a moment, please? Sure. I always imagined she'd be older and... and less beautiful. Come on. Kill a man. Five minutes. Pete, are you there? Yeah, go ahead. Taking out two of their gorillas. Any more of I can't tell. You win? I can't tell that either, but I got a feeling they got them downstairs someplace. Now I'm moving in that direction, but I gotta take it easy. They any idea that two of that guys are missing? They must know something's up. Hit the body's pretty good, so it should buy me some time. I don't know how much. And the key? She's in. Good. And I think you better try and get her a weapon. Right. It's crazy. You can't. I don't like it. I don't think we should make any concessions to these terrorists. You know what I mean to do as well as I do. I have absolutely no intention of going through with it. But at this point in the proceedings, we must make the terrorists think that we're prepared to negotiate. I mean, it really is the only way we can buy more time. You Signor Ferrante's lover. Please. Don't tell anyone. It could ruin Giorgio's career. You've lost a great deal of weight, Sophia, since the last time I saw you in Oslo. <laughs> I have no choice but to trust you. I'm going to need your help. I told you you might be useful to us later. Get up. We're going upstairs. We've been here a long time. Some of us have to... All right. Let them use the facilities. But one at a time. Take her first. television star, now is your opportunity. Go ahead. Okay. Forget the costume. No, I'm not one of them. You got that? I'm your only chance out of here. You're going to be a good girl? Okay. How many of them are there? I don't know. Well, how many have you seen? Oh. Their leader's name is Ahmed. Okay. Okay, now, how are the other women? Benny. And this is his dad. She's, she's okay. They took her away. Where? 
I have no idea. Okay. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to take something to Sofia Ferrante. Sofia Ferrante. What? Oh. Oh. This woman, she's going to be death of me. Problem. Mrs. Dad's not with the other ones. I don't know what they've done with her. Then, for God's sake, find out. How are the rest of the hostages? I guess they're okay. Have you any idea how many of these maniacs we're up against? Well, it was seven. I took out two, so I guess that leaves five. Okay. Get to it. You got it. What did you say? I'm afraid your wife has been separated from the others. Have they done with her? No idea. My man's trying to find out. All I can say, sir, is that you must try to be patient and remain calm. Would you say that if it was your wife, Mr. Sinclair? Senora Ferrante. Yes. I'm sorry about everything. And I promise to get out of this. I will never see George again. Oh, and Signora Ferrante, a man in the ladies' room he told me to give you this. In the ladies' room, it figures. Sure you can put it off? Well, I was quite a convincing Joan of Arc. I bet you were. Your profession is spreading the news. I have the most important assignment of your life. Every woman in this room must be informed of the plan. Who are you? Not until we're out of here. Can I count on you, Renata? Of course. Sounds like a great story. Tell the others. Ahmed, take a look at this. They do not make the conditions. We make the conditions.
yes. It's Peter. Afraid we've got a bit of a problem. Madame Haddad has been separated from the rest of the hostages. Oh, God. But apart from that, sir, everything's going according to plan. Nicky's safety with the hostages. Luke's doing his stuff. They've had the letter. And Paletti and his team are playing ball. Well, once you're inside, I won't be able to reach you if you've got everything you need. No, we're just fine. Everything's ready. I'm just waiting on Nicky. Yeah. Hold on one second, sir. Don't go away. It just came from the terrorists. Sir, we just had a cassette from the terrorists. I'm going to put it up on the video link. Gentlemen, we've just had a missive from the castle. You ready to receive? of cable news. I'm... I'm in a room with the leader of October Justice. None of the women have been hurt. However, there has been a dramatic turn of events. hours left. This is our last communication. We demand the delivery of Mohammed Haddad. That is all. Link out. I'm going in. Oh, Mr. Prime Minister. Really want help at all. You're gonna have to trust me. Still plenty of time. Just give me one more hour. I know this is a lot to ask of both of you, but it's really the only way out of this. I understand. Don't worry. Just to go along with whatever happens, take your cues from me. Okay. I guess. They will kill us. This is not going to work. You have a better idea? Just keep your voices down and do what you're told. <gasps> Ahmed, uh, the doctor's uh, on his way. Search his bag. Oh. There's nothing but pills and medical instruments. Take anything sharp, including the scissors. <laughs> Hold me here one minute more and that woman could die. Go ahead. Get me some water. I may need to get her to a hospital. No one leaves. Please. Stand back and give me some air. Thank you very much. And I'm going to need some help. You. It's all right. 
You're gonna be all right. Uh, uh, Where's Luke? Uh, Last I heard in a lady's room. But he sent me a present. Good. These are presents, too. Mm, great. Okay. I'm just gonna give you a couple of these, all right? Thank you. Okay. Now, drink it very slowly. Slowly. Good. When do we make our move? Not until all the terrorists are accounted for. Look, I can't guarantee this woman's life. I'm gonna have to get an ambulance. I said no. If only they would take us seriously, you could all leave. But since they don't, I think it's time to deliver a message. Line up the women. Say something when the woman fell ill. You knew there was a doctor coming from the outside. She is, anybody? I'll get her. Have you got your communicator? Yeah. Love the outfit, Pete. You know where they're taking Mrs. Dad? Yeah. Let's go. All right, I'm going to call Pelletier. You better take care of the women, okay? Okay.
Okay, you're out of here, Mrs. Sedan. Come on. Save my life. Our lives. If it's a girl, I call her Sophia. Ah, Gina Mia. Mas ei bazza. You said to me you were leaving her. But I am. You said to me she was old, fat, and stupider. Well, she is. Don't try to lie to me, Giorgio. You cannot hide it any longer. And if it's a boy? Yeah. We don't know. How about Alexander? You want a story? I give you a story. Tell me. How do you know which wire to cut? Blue's my favorite color. <laughs> My apologies to you, but Mr. Addington is unavailable to speak to anybody at this hour of the morning. Coffee, sir. Brandy? Yeah, that's more like it. <laughs> and, uh, for yourself one, Bennett. If I'm expected to keep up with you, it's one of life's necessities. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> who haven't we heard from tonight? Yes. Oh, Signor Ferranti. Yes, I heard. Three commanders, you said. I want to know a woman. Possibly Interpol. No, no. Oh, oh, you checked. Do you have any idea? No, no, then I'm afraid I have absolutely no idea. I want to find out who she is, who she works. You must be glad that Signora Ferranti didn't attend. Oh. Oh, I have no idea. Yes, that uh, does present a problem. Now, where is this beautiful sure Yes, well, 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 if I uh, find out who they are, I'll definitely let you know. <laughs> Satellite, Link. Vicky. Oh, bonsoir. Solo. They're still wrapping things up. I understand that. For you, Nikki, it was a personal achievement. Triumph, indeed. I beg your pardon? Well, Signor Ferranti has just uh, called me and he was asking for you. You didn't tell him how to find me, did you? How could I? I don't even know who you are. The irony is, in a struggle to keep women oppressed, it is the women who prove most valiant. In the end, nothing endures but change.